You know those weeks when you've got way too much on your plate? I'm having one of those weeks. Uh, we're gonna get ready. I'm, uh, I'll tell you as I go. This is Amazing Cosmetics Anti-Aging Face Primer. I'm going to the premiere of a friend's movie, one of my dearest friends. He wrote and directed the movie Eruption LA. And they're having their premiere tonight, which is super exciting. And I was looking forward to getting all sorts of gussied up and doing a great big get ready with me video. And then I've got a big audition and, well, I should never say big audition. I've got an audition and it's just not gonna time out for me to do all of that. So literally I am getting ready for my big event um, five hours early. So I really hope this makeup holds up. This is gonna be quite a test. I'm going with a look that I think will allow me to be a little dewy, so let's get to it. Makeup Forever Matte Velvet in 035. As you know, I cut my hair about 18 months ago and it's been growing and I'm finally able to wear a ponytail. And I just picked up a clip-on ponytail that I can, you know, a wraparound ponytail that eventually I will do a tutorial on, but first I kinda have to learn how to use it myself. So this is the first night out that I will be wearing that, and I was really super pleased with how it turned out. Going a little heavier on the foundation coverage uh, than I would for daytime, uh, because this is an event where I'm likely to be photographed. Definitely want to make sure I cover the ears and blend it all the way down the neck. One of my ears is bright red because it got burned with a curling iron by the uh, makeup and hair person on set the other day. So that's still a little irritated. Amazing Cosmetics Concealer in Medium Beige. Medium Beige and Medium Golden are my two favorite colors in the Amazing Cosmetics Concealers. The Light Golden really only works for me in the winter time. It's a bit too light for summertime. You know, I have this little teeny tiny concealer brush that I've been using for a gazillion years. I can't even tell you who makes it. Uh, and I love it because I can get into the really small spots around my eyes and around my nose. And then I got this one from Sigma. And at first I didn't use it because I just thought, no, this is way too big. It's too clumsy. But I actually really, really like it. And I only just started using it. Gosh, a few weeks ago and I've had it sitting in my arsenal for months but a new favorite I just applied some orange highlight one under my eyes Joe Blasco orange highlight one elf eyeshadow primer this one is the Pearl. It has a really white tone, and I like it when I'm using a brighter color on my lid because I feel like it really makes it pop a bit more. RCMA No Color Powder. This is a Japanesque brush that I'm not really sure how I acquired, but it seems to do a good job putting on my powder. Thank you. 
I take with me in my bag a little bit of foundation, a brush, and I put a little bit of powder on a puff and I throw it in any available thing that I happen to have that it'll stay in and that's what goes in my bag with me. I'm giving my eyebrows a little extra attention because my hair is completely pulled back off my face. But I don't want them to be too dominant. Gosh, I saw something I did recently and they were way too dark. So this is the NYX Micro Brow in Taupe. And I'm using that to get most of my shape. After that, I'll go in with my Anastasia pencil, the Brow Wiz, in the granite. And I get a little more definition, but if I use too much of that, it just seems to be a bit too dark. And then because I really want a very crisp and defined brow, I go in with some brow powder, which is actually a matte eyeshadow quad from Physicians Formula in Canyon Classics, and I go with the dark tone to just fill in and give me a more solid brow look. Again, this is something I'm using at night in a dramatic lighting situation, not necessarily something I'd be doing for a daytime, full sun environment. I got this acrylic chandelier about, gosh, 10 years ago, and I just love how sparkly it is when the fan hits it. I have been really good with sunscreen this year, so my Urban Decay Naked Flushed is giving me my tan. Well, as close to a tan as I get. Naturally, when you're in a hurry, you get an allergy attack. So my right eye is leaking and uh, the sniffles have started. So I just went for a second round of Flonase. We'll hope that helps. Still loving the Deck of Scarlet palette that I got. Uh, these are the colors I'm rocking for summer. I do like how this palette has the lipsticks covered because I hardly ever use them, but I'm loving this orange eyeshadow. Uh, they call it Feeling Peachy, but I think you could use any orangey eyeshadow. You can see it's pretty darn orange. Going in with my Sigma Diffused Crease Brush. The shirt that I'm wearing, it has a white background and a paisley design with orange and pink and turquoise and apple green and I want to sort of have all of those colors in play. I'm doing mostly oranges in the makeup, pink in the blush. My earrings are pink, and I'm wearing green palazzo pants tonight. The blush that I'm using is also in the Deck of Scarlet palette. They call it baby doll. It's quite a pink. So I'm going with pinks and oranges, which I, I'm liking them both together. In fact, I did pink on my nails and I did an orangey color on my toes. They inspired me. Like in the ice cream colors, or sort of sherbet colors. I got the Deck of Scarlet palette for free, which was really nice because it's not one that I would have been drawn to or picked up on my own and I really have been enjoying these nice bright colors this summer. The highlighter also is the Deck of Scarlet, Yasmin.
So by the time I'm walking the red carpet, I probably am going to be pretty shiny. On my lid, I'm going to go with this color that I got that is, well, I can't see what it is, but I'll put it in the notes below and I'll probably put it in a voiceover for you as I kick the air conditioning on. I picked up this Makeup Forever color at Sephora a few months ago, and it's not really a favorite. I don't love it. I hardly ever use it. Uh, it was not money well spent, but there you have it. I really find I prefer the bright orange tone over the bright pink tone, but I paid for it, so by golly, I'm going to use it now and then. That was Makeup Forever. The, um, using the highlighter that comes with the Deck of Scarlet palette. This is the first time using the Yasmeen on my brow bone, and my initial reaction is, holy crap, that's bright. That's really, really shiny, and I didn't really want it to be quite that shiny, and... Well, alrighty then. Um, in for a penny, in for a pound. Let's finish it up and smudge it out and make the best we can of it, right? This is a L'Oreal pencil that I have had for, um, well, years. And... It's nice and soft and a dark black, and that's why I like it for tight lining. And I can't give you real specifics on it because I've loved most of the information off of it. I think it was part of their high intensity pigment line that they had a few years ago. And as you know, I am liquid eyeliner challenged. I muddle through the best I can. Got a little crazy on the wings this time. Uh, sometimes you just get a little, little wing happy. This is the Deck of Scarlet liner that came with the palette. And I really, really like it. It holds up very well and it does have a nice crisp line to it. Smashbox palette, the Smoky palette, and I'm going to just go with this dark, dark gray right here, the matte. I went in with this dark gray, and I think it was just a teensy bit too dark, a little too extreme of a choice, but you know how I am. I always do that. Subtlety, not my strong point. Don't you love how it's a great mystery? You can't even see it. Ha ha. All will be revealed. Well, most will be revealed. 
See, a little too dark. But that is my way. Then I will have to smudge it down a little more. I will say it did hold up very well. I got home midnight and my eyeshadow was still holding up just fine. After smudging out the charcoal a little bit, I'm now adding a little bit more orange because I like the depth, but I really, really want that intense orange color. And I'm even going underneath the eyes with a teensy bit of that orange because that orange really makes the eyes a brighter blue color if you have blue eyes. It's gonna have to do, cause I'm out of time. Okay, let's get a little more orange highlight under the eyes, cause you know I can't get enough of that. And for everyone who wants to know how I keep the concealer out of the creases, the answer is, I don't. It goes into the creases, it goes into the wrinkles. It does it on me just like it does it on you, and I just smooth it with my fingers a couple of times throughout the evening. I just lightly pat with my fingertips to sort of smooth that out. Tarte Man Eater Mascara. I did not love this mascara the first time I tried it. And so I put it into a drawer and sort of forgot that I owned it. And then I broke it out a few weeks ago and I really, really like it. It's surprising how you can really change your mind about something. Urban Decay Naked Liner. It's a little dark, but I like it. Because the liner is so dark, I don't really like to fully fill in the lips with it the way I would with another liner, but I do like the deep tone that it has, and I find that it really helps my lipstick last all night. So what I do is I fill in the lips a little bit and then I just sort of smudge it down with my fingertip and just soften it a little bit so it's not too, too solid. Revlon Color Burst. or Revlon Matte Balm Stain. I don't know, but it lasts really a long time, so that's why I'm going for it. And then this is a lighter, frostier one. The orange color gives me a wonderful vibrancy and lasts all night long, but it's a little too bright, and I like softening it with this sort of peachy tone. If I just use the peachy tone without the orange underneath it, it's just a little too pastel and doesn't have quite as much color punch. And just to be the very definition of insanity, I'm going to attempt false eyelashes. These are little ones that I picked up at the drugstore. They're tiny. They're little sets of three lashes. They're little itsy bitsy mini lashes. If I can get the glue out. I can't get the glue out. Let's find other glue. Do I have other glue? I have other glue. This is Duo Dark Tone Adhesive.
Don't you love how I keep it all a mystery for you? You know, you want a drum roll underneath. Did it work? Didn't it? I have no idea. Let's find out. I like that. That's very subtle. These are the short length. I know most people want great big caterpillars on their eyes, but I kind of favor a smaller lash. I, I like, I like subtle. Sometimes, you know. Said the woman who's wearing orange and pink eyeshadow. This is a Palladio Highlighter Contour Combo Pencil that I picked up at the Beauty Supply a couple of months ago. Time to get ready. I will show you pictures from the event tonight at the end of this video, but I gotta run to my audition. Thank you very much for getting ready with me. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. I love you bunches. And drop your comments down below as always. Ring that little bell if you want to be notified about my videos. Tomorrow, we're going to prom. Love you bunches. So I totally love the outfit that I got, but it's just as well that I missed the red carpet because the pants shoot terribly. <laughs> so these are my friends. This is director Sean Kane and his wife Liz and my friend Char Frost, who I often see at occasions like this. I was lucky enough to run into my co-star Jude Lanston from Magic Funhouse, and I heard that that's going to be premiering August 12. I will